Hey guys, we're here for episode 261 and we are continuing with post.wad from September 17th, 1996. So if you look at this list, we are mid-September. I only have one scroll wheel to do until we can see October right here. So that's very encouraging. So let's get right to it. Post underscore map folder. Map, I don't know what that means. Post, here it is right here. So let's just look at this text file here. Post the SQL, okay. Yeah, I don't know what MEP means. MEP, what, what the hell does that mean? Post underscore MEP. MEP, I don't get it. Anyway, so what we need to do, we have to load the WAD and we have to load this post 19 DH. So. Uh, so this is for Doom version 1.9. Apparently there's one for V1.7, 1.7a, if that's a thing, I don't even know. And then there's also one for 1.9. Thankfully, I haven't even noticed the dehacked. So I think the only the only thing I noticed about the dehacked was that it changed the level names. It also changed the cheat codes, and I had to change I had to delete that. But besides those two things, I haven't noticed any gameplay differences which is very good because I I don't like that. I don't like when people screw around with the gameplay. Because I like playing Doom. I don't like playing not Doom. You know, you know exactly how many shots you need to fire in order to kill all the monsters. And, you know, when people start screwing around with that, it just, it's, it's not, you're not playing the same game anymore. Okay, so with that rant out of the way, let's... So, okay, wait, so we've done... So we started yesterday. Post.wad, we started from scratch yesterday. And I think that was the only wad I played yesterday. And it's... We're already at map 10. So I think there are 11 maps. So which means we have, like... Yes, we're, uh, we're not halfway through yet. So we have uh, still some more of map 10, and then we have map 11. The maps have gener generally been fairly large. Map one was, I did not like it all because it was one of those typical maps that mappers will make in order to create a sense of progression. So, which means you start with nothing and you, it's like, you don't get anything in the whole map. Yeah. I mean, I got a shotgun. I don't know. I don't, I probably got a chain gun. I don't remember. It took a while to get a shotgun, though. I mean, I mean, there were... I guess I could have got a... But still, I mean, there were... It was It was not fun. There were... Um, I think here... What monsters... Uh, there were Kako Demons that, that I had to fight. Kako Demons, Demons that I had to fight with a single shotgun. And uh, there was a... There was a section of the area that of the first map that didn't ha have much health. So, I mean, at the very beginning, it was really, really slow going. However, as soon as you got into map two, the super shotgun was right near the start. And so ever since we got the super shotgun, the map, the wad has been very fun. So let's continue. So we have three secrets. There's I'm not sure if I picked one up yet. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. OK, I remember that one. The one on the bottom right there, I did get that. Or at least I went in there. There might still be stuff in there. I'm not sure. Maybe I should go over there. Okay. So I maxed out on... Let's Yeah, let's look at the weapons here. I'm Wait a minute. So apparently some of these... Some of the de-hacked... I didn't know there was a switch here. Some of the de-hacked involves adding death uh, death frames to like decorations so I don't know if I can shoot this guy or not we'll save yeah there you go so uh, that's my first uh, the first thing I've noticed for a gameplay change pretty sure that looked pretty cool too yeah that looked really good all right, so let's press this. Yeah, 
that's something I missed. So it's a good thing I came back. Now, I don't know what that did, but what I want to do is I want to go... Looks like I can go left as well. I just, I want to go back to the, to the secret part. Which is right here. We have a, right here? Yes. Mid texture, right? Yeah, okay, so I did everything in here. Okay, so we did that. Now, I'm not going to go left yet. There's a red key here. Oh. I wonder if that's... I. So, I mean, you're going to have to believe me, but there were invisible barriers <laughs> around all of this stuff. There's one right here. There's an invisible barrier right in front of me. I can't walk over the the thing here. And it'll, it will also stop my shots. So... I mean, it could have been, you might be saying, it could have been an impassable line, but no, it's not an impassable line. It's an actual barrier. Uh, and there was a barrier here too. You can see it on the auto map there. There's an extra diamond sector. So I'm wondering if that switch I pressed near the shootable decoration lowered that. So now I have access to the red key. Okay, so let's go back. We'll can, should we maybe let's look on the auto map here so the red door is to the left there if i go up i wonder if i can do anything if i go up if i go left i mean there's stuff over there i'll just continue going up i forgot to check out my weapons and stuff Okay, so I maxed out on shells. 46 rockets. 510 cells. Some bullets as well. Now, I do have a BFG. Now, I just, I don't really have much health though. Got some snipers. Okay. Uh, these do not uh, change when you shoot them. I've tried shooting these before. <clears throat> Who the hell is shooting me? <clears throat> so I wonder if these guys came from over there. Because I heard teleporting. Uh, okay, I pressed that. Did something. Now we're going down, apparently. We got a lift there, so this is def definitely damaging. Oh, God. Okay, let's just go back. Hmm. So whatever that switch does, it does something, and it I have to wait for it to finish. So I'm going to have to figure out what that does. Jesus Christ. What in the shit, man?
Okay, it's nothing a single BFG blast can fix, right? BFG fixes all. These guys will not stop. All right, so what the hell does this do? Not sure. No idea. Okay, anyway, it looks like this. there are secrets over here. Okay, and that's going to be all of them. Okay, so I'm going to have to see what this does. Run map 10, right? Okay, so here we go right here. Raise to next highest four. Oh. Okay. Four lower to lowest. Huh. So I wonder why you would need to do this. Unless this I I, I don't understand. So, yeah, now I can press it multiple times. So it's at the very highest P point. And there's nothing else over here, right? I, I mean, so that probably raises up. Or it's probably stairs. Um, so I'm going to need a rad suit. I did that. I don't know what that does. Okay, I'm going to have to go down into the water. I'm going to save before I do that. Okay, there's your blue key right there. It's going to take a little peek. Does that raise that? Okay. So that does that. Now, what else can we do over here? Seems like that's it. Yeah. Okay. Take your time. This is the uh, stairs raised by eight and that's the slow one when they raise by 16 that's the fast one all right yeah at times this wad has been very stingy with the armor apparently this is one of those times there was a Megasphere in one of the maps, at least one of the maps. <clears throat> and I thought, you know, it, it was going to be generous again with the health. And then it's just totally dried up. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Do I go back? Do I seriously go back? I must know. It's it's just right here. Yeah, it's up there. How do I... Okay, I see. <laughs> Four shotgun shells. What's this one going to be? 
<laughs> I thought it was going to be a decent item. All right, so we have 45 monsters left. Do I seriously have to go in the water again? Uh, okay, there's health there, but health in a damaging sector. So if I were to press that <clears throat> to lower the lift, would I have enough time to grab a health thing and then come back? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not going to chance it. Well, I do have more health now than when I started, so I guess that was worth it, right? There's a rat suit right there, by the way. Who in the shit is shooting me? That's nothing? What? Hmm. I wonder if I was in there already. Probably, right? So, when I was in there, it was probably yesterday. Because I don't remember it. Yeah, I must have... I, yeah, I was probably in there yesterday. Okay, we're going down. So there's a blue door right there. Blue bars. Yeah, so is this where the rat suit is? I think so. All right. Oh, and this is where you get the key, right? All right, blue key acquired. None of these are lifts. So we have to go back the, the way we came. These Shriners commercials, the Shriners Children's, wait, uh, Shrine, Shriners Hospital for Children, is that what it's called? You know, where, where they have the, the, the children's spokespeople. They're narrating the, they're, well, they're hosting the commercial. And, and they're all in wheelchairs or there's like really bad things wrong with them. <laughs> they're all very good speakers and very cute kids. Uh, but I mentioned this in a previous episode probably multiple times i always thought it would be <clears throat> a good idea to have these kids do like like a sitcom or like a like a drama uh, not not a drama drama but like a, a sitcom drama type thing because they're so good at speaking and it's, the reason why it's it, why i got this idea is because like the original guy the original kid alec he was just on the screen there uh, when, when they started doing this commercial, it must have been like maybe five or six or even longer years ago. And so he was a very cute kid. He's asking, you know, people to donate to the to the hospital or whatever. And but as the years went on, he you know, he was getting older. He was and he was going through puberty and, and uh, he had a lot of stuff wrong with him. But he's going through pu puberty. His voice was getting lower. And so. <laughs> It, uh, he was, and he sounded like, you know, one of those, uh, dirtbag teenagers <laughs> because his voice was getting lower. And so is dirtbag teenagers. Is that the proper, the proper word I was looking for? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what, that's what inspired me to think of that idea of the, of the kids on the sitcom, because, you know, he was going through puberty, through puberty. He apparently he's got his license and all that right now. At least as of a couple years ago. So he must be, he might even be 18 by now. But, and then they brought in a younger kid, <laughs> a younger, cuter kid who, uh, who hasn't gone through puberty yet <laughs> to, to replace him. 
and uh, but I thought it would be really a good idea for the for the for the sitcom. Still waiting for people to do that. I mean, they'd be. I I don't know if they if people would watch, but I, I'd watch. There would be a be very. I don't know if it would be funny. Definitely in some ways, not as in making fun of them, but you know they have such horrible things wrong with them. So it would be funny in for them to like go through the usual the usual growing up stuff that everyone goes through meanwhile they also have this other terrible stuff that's wrong with them that they have to deal with anyways so it's kind of uh i don't know interesting idea in my opinion you know south park has a bunch of um, at least a few. Yeah, it has a few like disabled people on it. And they're hilarious characters too. So it can be possible to laugh. All right, so I got a blue key. Let's go through the blue door. Only 24 monsters left. Okay, that was just a horrible air ball. I don't know why. I should only open up one of these things. I don't know how these guys haven't hit me yet. I could hear one of those hit scanners wake up. These guys are just horrible right now. Okay, finally. Meanwhile, there's like no... Okay, there's health. I was about to say, meanwhile, there's no health. Five monsters. So we have a revenant, a fatty, and a couple demons at least. There might be three demons. All right, let's kill the fatty if we can. We have to avoid the demons. What? How is that not a lift? Okay, so there were some items right here. Uh, we, were, there, were they trees? Can I shoot the trees? Because I feel like I saw flames. You know what? I wonder. Now, okay, I'm just trying to think here. So, because I don't know if I actually tried to shoot the trees. So the reason I'm pausing here is that I'm just curious on how they did this in the, in the D-Hack. Because I don't know if it's possible. So in D-Hack, there is a, like a death frame and then there's an exploding frame. So, you know, when you kill the small monsters, the hit scanners, regular, they just die. Uh, but if you, like, shoot a barrel or if you shoot them with the rocket launcher, they'll, like, explode into chunks. So that's the explosion frame. I think that's why it's not that's not what it's called in D-Hack. I forget what it's called, but I'm assuming um, whatever these trees did by flaring up that was their explosion exploding frame but i don't know if they have a regular death frame i don't I, and i also don't know if it's possible it must be possible to to just have an exploding frame and not have a death frame so there's stuff up there can i go on it Okay, I'm just gonna save. Um, does this have an exploding frame too? No. So that was, I'm assuming those were trees. I don't even I didn't even know what they were, but well, let's see if we can find another tree. Okay, I've already been down here. I I don't know what to do here. Oh, I see. Apparently, there's something right here. 
There's your guy. So that opens this, right? And then that lowers this. Oh, it raises this. Still no armor, by the way. Still no armor. Okay, map 11. And I just got hit already. Save. Okay, let's just go behind here. We will save again. Now, track-wise, I think we're on 32. So, you know, another thing about these episodes, these multi-level wads, it, like, especially with these long ones, I think, um, I'm assuming there's going to be a monster spawner in this. I also hate monster spawners. So, monster spawners and dehacked. <laughs> Stuff I hate. Also, maps with no super shotgun. Yeah, fuck off. Um, where the hell is he? Yeah. Okay, that guy has horrible aim. Still no armor, by the way. Zero secrets. So I guess I don't have to look at any secrets. I'm trying to think of what this map looks like. <clears throat> Yeah, rocket goes right through them. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming I can get up there because I see a teleporter up there. So I'm assuming I can get up there. Probably from here, right? No. Maybe later. There are only like, I forget how many ma uh, monsters there were at the very beginning. It wasn't that many though. So I feel like this isn't gonna take very long, this, this map. Okay, we have another sniper. I don't think I need... Oh, I do need a cell pack. I thought I had over 500. No, but I think... Yeah, I think I used a BFG Blast in the previous map. Jesus. Who is shooting... So I, I can hear a chain gunner. There he is right there. Okay, so I've done everything over here. Let's go to the other side. So we have a door right here. Should I go here first? Uh, no, I should go down because it looks like if I go down, it's a dead end. Got to go to your dead ends first. Okay.
All right, so I did that. Now let's just continue. So I have to keep my eyes open for a tree because I, I really want to. Uh, there is a tree in map one. I think there is even a rocket launcher, but you know, if I don't see a tree in this map, I'm going to restart map one and I'll just type in IDKFA, get all the weapons, and I'll shoot a rocket at a tree and see what happens. Also, just try and shoot it normally. Okay, looks like we have multiple lifts. That's nothing. Caught it in time. Jerks. Still no armor. I'm assuming I don't... Yeah, I don't take these up. Up to the very top. There's nothing up there. There are no secrets, so... Uh, what? What's happening right here? I feel like there's supposed to be... Yeah, there's supposed to be a lift here. So how does that raise up? I pressed all these. Okay, did I miss something over here? Are you serious? Hmm. I have to redo that. I got hit. I shot myself, rather. Good. Okay, and this is raising up too, finally. 36 monsters left. That's it. Let's see if we can do this under 10 minutes. Didn't really make any progress on the list yesterday because we only did this map. This wad, I should say. Oh, now I gotta wait. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I thought it was one of those things that go up and down. Okay, so I wonder if this teleporter leads to uh, where those imps were. I think so, yep. Okay. more teleporter. Let's continue. Should I start using my cells? I mean, I've got 
Almost 600. Well, that was stupid. 28 health? What? Eight monsters. Let's see if I can survive this. <laughs> God, I don't know why I saved. Because it looks like we have nukage as well. That would suck. If I saved right in a spot with mandatory damage. <laughs> Three monsters. So this looks like a dead end. So is there... I don't think I've seen... Oh, no, no, I have. I was going to say I don't think I've seen a cyber demon, but I have. Um, map 7, I believe, featured a cyber demon. But I think that was the only one. Okay, so I don't know who that is. Is that, is that a girl? can't tell. Anyway, I think it's a Romero head. Okay, there's post.wad. So it ended up being a quite, quite a fun wad. Except for the lack of armor. I don't know what's going on with the lack of armor. But we finished it. Hooray. Okay, now we're doing um, Etherworld. All right, so we have ET. Here it is right here. 196 kilobytes. That's more like it. Uh, is it the other world or is it the ether world? Uh, it's block.wad apparently, but it's not. It's other world. Oh, this is a David Jewsbury wad. Okay. And Jorge Gutas. Now... I don't recognize this guy's name, uh, but I do remember. I do recognize Jewsberry. Just trying to think of. I have a map in mind that I think was made by him, and I think he's another mapper that I enjoy. Okay, so we're on track one, actually. Wow, a rare occurrence when I don't have to change the music. Hooray for me! Okay, so we have 160 monsters and we have seven secrets. There is a secret right there. No secret lines. Good. No secret lines here either. Our mapper's finally starting to listen to all my complaining. Are they going back in time and, you know, removing all of their secret lines from their wads? Okay, so now I just have to pay attention to the auto map and look for white lines. So it... No, this isn't anything. It would be white if it was something. Jesus. What? You're just being... slaughtered here. Um, okay, so there is something here. Don't know how to open it. Okay, let's just go down.
Okay, rocket launcher acquired. Okay, I heard a door open, but I don't understand what's happening here. Oh, it looks like there's a door right there. Jesus. Okay, so what should I do here? Do I get this and fall down or what? Lift? Yeah. Fuck you. Huh? Have I seen health? There's health. Okay, we have a revenant right there. So, decent weapon anywhere? Hello? I guess I'm saving. I don't know. I do have a rock launcher, but that looked like a very tight quarters room. There's some armor. Still waiting for a super shock, and I might have to open the editor here. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, super shotgun acquired. This is a pretty neat looking room. Nice lighting effect. Can I leave it? Okay. Yes, very nice looking lighting effects right there. All right, so I am equipped with a super shotgun. Now I can go kill that revenant. save. Are there two? Fuck. This is going to be tricky. Let's see if I can lure one out. Good. Perfect. Still zero secrets. Now there's something right here. Okay, so what now? Oh, that just revealed the light. Okay, and that's why the light changed. The light level changed, okay. Now, I don't know if that was good, probably not. If I only got shot once, that'll do. Oh, and here's all your health. Good. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck? What was that? Okay, well, I got 
I have 69 health. I mean, is that enough? I don't know. Still zippity secrets. I think there may have been a health kit right here. Okay. Two stim packs. Good. Is that anything? No. All right, so we have a we have a star. As always, in my videos, I always complain about how people don't make straight stars and or pentagrams. This one is actually shockingly straight. Wow. If you look at the diagonal lines, because it takes effort to make them perfectly straight when they're diagonal, because you have to line them up on a grid. And uh, it's hard to do it with, when the lines are diagonal. You have to make the grid size really small. Uh, but he did a very good job. It's probably the best one I've seen in the entire video series so far. Honestly, I'm not even exaggerating. It's very, it's very straight. It's definitely the best one. So congrats to these guys. This is the new standard that everyone who comes, who comes after this has to measure up to. This, um, this star here. Okay, so I got some... Okay, so we got a bit of a slaughter happening right here. Oh, I think I forgot to try and shoot trees in the previous map. The, the, in post. Oh well. Let's just forget about it. Holy shit, the Baron just got absolutely hammered. So let's see how well the Caco Demons fare. There's no way the Caco Demons are going to beat the, the fatties. Oh my god, one's dead. So the Baron must have done some, some damage. Okay, how many shots left? Okay. Wow. I only had to shoot once for that entire fight. So we do have a... Oh, fuck. We have a bunch of health. That's good. Meanwhile, we got a bunch of ammo-wasting lost souls. I just heard someone teleport. Okay, so I'll grab this box of shells. I'll grab a med kit. So there are still four left. There are some white walls over here. Like, what the hell? What is going on? Still don't have any secrets. So it looks like more stuff happens in this wad. In this room, I mean. Okay, I guess I have to come back here later. So I have a blue key. I guess I'm supposed to do something with that. Thankfully, this damaging sector is not um, mandatory. So there was a rad suit, which, is, which was very nice. And it is possible to avoid the damaging sector. So that's good. Here's your blue door. Okay, so we have some stuff that's open back at the start. So let's go back over there. Oh, I can't. Fuck. Yeah, let's just waste your ammo. That's a good idea. So I've got to figure... I don't know how to get back up there.
So what is with all the lost souls? That's my question. What is with all these mappers who put lost souls in their maps? I don't get it. Okay, we have a door there. Let's just go back over here. Hmm. So now we have nukage. Oh, the new kids doesn't even damage. Thank you. That's how you're supposed to do it. So here's the, the fence in that other room that I was in. So do I go that way or do I can't go this way. Okay. I guess I'm trapped. Perfect. Okay. Um, what? Is it a 30 second type deal? Yeah, I thought so. Nothing I press opens. Like, none of these white walls that are supposedly secrets open. So I don't understand what's going on. Something just opened. Oh, you asshole. I got stuck on the wall. Ugh. Five shots? I don't think so. Okay, this looks like a nice little area. So we have a teleporter right here. Something's open over here. Finally. Did I actually pick up a secret? Wow. All right, so one secret has been obtained. Now, can I do anything else? Actually, I can. Looks like this triangle is open now as well, and so is this door. So I didn't even, I didn't even try and open this door because I wanted to go back uh, up this way. However, this door is now open. And we have the stuff at the start that's open. We have some chain gunners roaming around. Okay, there's a secret at the start as well. So I just, I don't know how to get back to the start. Actually, I'm assuming it's through this door here. And I'm not sure how to open that. I tried pressing it. Okay, so let's, you know, maybe, I'm not sure. Not sure what's going to happen when I use this teleporter. Uh, what? Where the hell am I? I'm back here, okay. Oh, I see, I see. So I want to go over there to hide. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh my god, fuck you. Okay, could it be any darker? Just wasted a med kit. Oh, come on, these goddamn lifts, man. That activate when you walk over a line. I hate them so much. 
Oh. Okay, so there is a, a soul sphere right there. It's a secret, apparently. My shells are just dwindling. Okay, I think there's something right here. It's supposed to be. How does one get over there? Like, I know there's something here. And there's a teleporter there, but I don't understand how to activate it, as always. If I walk around this, does it open? Hmm. There you go. That's how you do it. Can I go back? Good. There was some ammo in there that I wanted to get. Perfect. Okay, so I got two secrets. Still five left. Where is this going to lead? Hmm. Oh, I see. So that's the, the big star room. So I got a backpack and I got a plasma gun. There is something right here. It's a secret as well. No idea how to open it. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> some monsters are awake now. Holy shit. I think there's enough shells. I think it's official. There's enough shells. You can never have enough shells. In this case, there's going to be enough shells. Uh, what I meant to say is you, you can never have too many shells. Let's let all the spiders kill the tomatoes. They might actually do it too. There's only one left. <laughs> Did not last long. Okay. Press that. Ooh. It's unfortunate. Uh, wait a minute. 57 monsters. Yeah, but there's still a whole bunch of secrets. What, what's going on? Uh, and where are my rockets at? I guess there just aren't many rockets in the map. That's quite the import. Okay, so we have 11 monsters left. I'm assuming that's the exit. I mean, I'm just assuming. Based purely on the exit sign. Zuh. I still don't understand how to get back to the start. This goddamn door still is not open. Did I try and shoot it? I don't know. I only have two secrets. Like, what's going on here? Yeah, this thing I don't understand how to how to get this secret here. Uh, it's quite possible I didn't actually try and press any of these walls here. Uh, so there might be multiple sectors, multiple secrets here. Okay, well let's go back. I don't know why I didn't try and press stuff. I can't even go back. I'm trapped.
Jesus Christ. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look in an editor. I don't understand why you can't go back. Uh, what? Oh, is there a random support texture right here that I'm supposed to press? Okay, and what do you get? A use, useless invisibility sphere, but you do get a box of a box of charges a, a cell charge pack okay and what about this thing right here it's got to be shootable no it's a walkover so how does it open Some random ass shootable door, shootable switch. It's not even a switch, it's just a random wood metal. Okay, so I shoot that, you gain access to this, and this is a lift here, right? That's how you get back up here. And then I can get the secret over here. And here's a teleporter that teleports you back over here, okay. All right, and what about this over here? Okay, this actually is not a pressable thing. Hmm. So is this just available? Or is this a barrier? This is a barrier. And it opens when you walk over this, apparently. Okay, so... Oh, I see. So when I walked over this... What? So I had to walk over this... And then go back and go through here. It's kind of confusing. Now, I wonder if I can, if I know clip, I could probably get everything. Yeah, I mentioned this before. It, it's shocking how rare it is when it, that I actually have to know clip. Like, I rarely know clip. The reason I'm saying it's shocking is because, you know, this is the 90s, the mid-90s. Doom is still kind of new. And you're getting all these people who are making levels for a video game. Obviously, they're smart enough to know how to make the levels and stuff. But, I mean, I feel like it's... There are definitely... There have been a few bugs, but... Like, it's kind of surprising, in my opinion. I feel like there's way more bugs these days than <laughs> than what there were in the in those days. Like, I, I don't really... I don't have to no-clip very often at all. So I don't even have it bound. I don't have a hot auto-hockey script uh, button bind for it. Because I rarely use it. So I'm... Wait a minute, did I turn it off? I did, okay. So what should we do? We have, to, okay, we go down here and I have to shoot this, okay. Okay, now we gotta kill some uh, chain gunners. I will, the map's over so I can use them all my cells. Three monsters left. Now, okay, no secret here. This is a secret right here. All right. So I want to go back to the blue door, right? Uh, yes. By the way, I wonder why or when and why the stairs get blocked off. I thought it would have been over here, but it's not. Huh. It's over here. 
So I walk through this door and those steps get blocked off. <clears throat> I guess that's so you can't trigger like the exit by going back and going back down the stairs. I guess that's why he did it. He wants you to teleport over here. Get the get the weapon and all that. Actually, I think you have to teleport up here in order to do it. Because you have to walk over a line up here. So maybe this is just to prevent you from running away from the monsters. Forcing you to fight them. That's my theory. Alright, let's fall down and then what? Oh yeah, so this will be open now. Okay, there's gonna be eight monsters here. Oh my god, there's a fucking BFG. Oh. I didn't even get to use it. I fucking hate when that happens so much. Oh. So I'm up to six. Where's... Oh, so the last secret is in the... Near the exit where I teleport. Where the plasma gun is. So it's tragic. It's absolutely tragic when you... Get a BFG right at the end of a map. You don't even get to use it. I literally didn't even get to fire a shot. So apparently there's... Yeah. It's a random... Not a, not a random. There's a tiny little support switch right there. There's your last secret. Okay. So if you would have done... If, you know, if you would have played this map while knowing where everything was, it would have been much better. It was kind of um, unforgiving in terms of the secrets uh, because you know if you don't get them then you sort of get blocked off from them and there's no way to get them again and I'm not sure how easy those secrets would have been to obtain because it you know I, I think feel like multiple ones where you walk over a line like right before a teleporter and it opens up a secret behind you so it's like what Anyway, we did another wad. That's good. Let's see if we can get to October. I don't, we're not going to be able to, but let's try and get as far as possible. So now we're doing Adolf. I don't know if this is going to be a Nazi-themed wad or not. I feel like Adolf is still a popular name in Germany. 580. So it has Deuce F. I don't know if popular is the right name. Um, it's just, it's still a name. Like, I know one of the guys who made, we have a new Sky, one of the guys who made the Kama Sutra wads. His name is Adolf. Okay, this is, it's definitely inspired by Hitler. <laughs> Based purely on the opening texture here. And the swastikas. <laughs> okay, so we have 61 monster. This might be a single level, and it just has a bunch of new stuff in it. I'm not sure. We're on track two now. Let's get the uh, the clips. Okay, we have four secrets. What is what's a damaging water? Oh. Is the water damaging? I honestly don't know. I feel like it is. Okay, let's try going this way. There, that's what I want, a shotgun. Yeah, it does have new textures. So did, oh, fuck you. Did I mention that this has Deuce F, so that usually means that there are new sprites. That shotgunner will not die. Okay. Okay. 
So once again, we have water. What was I saying yesterday about... I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but... <laughs> it was yesterday, yeah, because I remember... About mappers who use the liquid flats, the animated liquid flats, and they always make them damaging, even the water. And I don't get it. It is damaging, too. The water's damaging. I don't understand who saw me. Huh. Okay, we have a no secret line secret. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we have a teleporter right here. Is that a super shotgun I see? It is not. Just another teleporter. You guys are jerks, man. Like, am I missing something? Maybe there's a giant Hitler at the end. Okay, I can... Oh, there's this... There's a weapon right here. Port up here, okay. Then you go over here and then you get some rockets, okay. And then you go over here, I guess. More rockets. Okay, so the Kako demons are Hitler heads. <laughs> So there is a super shotgun. Um, just trying to think of what the best way to get it is. So if I go this way, first I'll get the uh, the shotguns right here. Then I will open this. What? And then can I just go this way? Is that the idea? Uh, 48 and 80. That's 32, isn't it? No, I can't. I can't go through here. And what do we have here? We have a door. We have a tele... Oh, so this leads over here. Okay, that's fine. Because what I want to do is I want to go over here if possible. And this is a door. And that leads to the super shotgun, right? Okay, so let's try that. Um, I, I want to start from scratch. I guess I'm yeah okay I just I wanted to go as long as I could okay let's get these shotguns yeah that guy died in two shots like they're supposed to
Fuck off with the water. My God. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get the super shock and I'm gonna have no ammo. I'm using a fucking pistol. Okay, Mega Sphere good, but are there any other things? So I don't know where I am right now. Now I'm just worried I fall down and I get, <laughs> I'm in the water again. Yeah, see? Okay, there's some stuff there. Good. Is that it? Okay, maybe let's reload. Yeah, so I obviously can't go over there, right? Unless I can straight front over there. It might be possible, to be honest. Honestly, I think I could SR-50 that. But it's kind of tricky to line up. <laughs> How awesome am I? Where does that lead? Oh, that leads over to where I've been before. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, I might as But I want to get the backpack for sure. So. Okay, yeah, let's get the backpack. The backpack is over here. Good. Now I've got 48 uh, shells. Are you serious? <laughs> the teleporter just teleports you over here? And I did that awesome SR50 jump? And it didn't matter at all? There's your secret, by the way. So apparently there are two other guys. Hmm. Okay, what should I do now? How many rockets do I have? I have only have eight. So I... Should I go back over here? So I really need a chain gun. There's your chain gun right there. So I could get that if I just go back over here through the teleporter. And then I go up these stairs here. Good. Now I got a chain gun. This can be very helpful for the Nazis and the hit scanners. Yes. God damn it. Okay, we're back at the start. Now, 
now I could go down through the secret. Or I could go back over here again and I could go this way. So we have a dead end. All right, so let's try going this way instead. So I think like right here is not damaging this water here. But as soon as like there are there's a sector right here. I'm in the sector I'm in is not damaging, but the sector above it is. Okay, let's save. Box of shells, nice. Didn't lose too much health there. Okay, we have a teleporter right here. Oh, we have some new trees. Those look nice. Oh, they're a texture, huh? From here, it looked like they were a sprite. He even put, um, like, a shadow sector underneath. <laughs> Looks very nice. So it looks like the sky tiles nicely. There you go. So what do we have? We have a blue door right there. So I, who the hell? I do not have a blue key. All right, he can go to hell. Here's your blue key, by the way. Just gotta figure out how to get in there. Uh, what? Someone's shooting at me. Okay, so I probably have to go down to the secret then. Okay, so I feel like I've done everything so far. All right, so it's time to go down to the secret. 20 monsters left. This map only had like 61 monsters and I'm already eight minutes in. A few tries, taking a few tries. Let's telefrag the dude. Oh, okay. There's your key. Good. So I shot these guys from over there. And I got all the secrets too. We have 10 monsters left. Okay, this is a new area. Right? Okay, we have three teleporters. This one has a, sorry, three hallways. This one has a teleporter. So I wonder if this is a puzzle. Oh, <laughs> okay, those two just lead around each other. And this one is a teleporter. I have a blue key, so I mean, I could go back outside yeah, out here. Oh, so that was a shortcut, I guess. Oh, right. So what are those things, anyways? <laughs> That's hilarious. 
glowing swastikas. <laughs> it actually looks really nice too with the colors. Oh my god, this is this is amazing. Look at how good this looks. So I've seen holy shit. That was a nice death animation too. I've seen heads as caco demons before, but not a Hitler head. Jesus. Well, those were those Hitler caco demons were amazing. Oh my god. Sometimes my stomach gets super itchy as well. Like right now. Oh. In the winter, it's it's winter dry skin. That's that's the problem here. Oh, we got two more guys in here. I'm assuming it's one level. Yeah. Okay. Well, it started off kind of, uh, I don't know what the word is. It started off not the greatest, uh, but then I figured out what to do. And it was ended up being really cool, especially that the, the Hitler Kaku demons were amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, so we did Adolf.wad. Now we're doing Kingpin 2. So we did Kingpin 1, or the original Kingpin. Yeah, well, King, Kingpin 1, yes. Uh, a little, not too long ago. I remember doing it. It was very recent. I, I can remember the map, too. So uh, the Kingpin name sounded familiar, familiar to me when we came across the first version uh, like a few episodes ago. However, when I loaded the wad up, uh, I didn't really recognize it. So... I don't know if it's a case of just recognizing the the file name or if I'm going to end up recognizing the second kingpin because there there are two kingpins. There are there's only two. Kingpin 2. 340 kilobytes. So is this going to be map 2? I really hope I wasn't supposed to load these together. Why would why would I have to? Because there are sep separate um, entries. Mike Slama. Oh, King Gargoyles Gorge. Kingpin's Lair. It picks up where Kingpin One ends. Okay. I don't think he mentions it. My stomach is so itchy. So I had um, I had surgery. Uh, what's it called? La I think it's laparoscopic surgery to remove my gallbladder a few years ago. And there's a so they like put a couple incisions. I'm not going to show you, but on like your abdomen here, they put one like below your belly button and then they put one up here sort of under your rib cage area and then they they put a couple small ones on the side here i guess they're like i don't know what they do they like stick stuff in or something i don't know but but it's like where my stomach gets itchy it's at the top incision spot and there are, i do have scars there too and uh but i think that's i don't know if if that's because of the reason, but I I think it's 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 well it's because of um, the winter, the, the dry air. That's why my skin itches. But it's just funny that that's where this is where my stomach itches. It's is at the incision point. And you know, I was kind of surprised by this. So when they did the surgery, um, I woke up because they put you under and I woke up and they didn't shave me at all. So I still had like my body hair and they had like made the incisions and everything. My stomach is kind of hairy. I'm not really a hairy guy except for my stomach, which is kind of strange, but 
they just they didn't shave me at all i don't know if that's now standard practice because i mean wasn't that what you were supposed you were supposed to like shave people back then like that's what you you were supposed to do before right i don't know are there any doctors watching this <laughs> why would a, why would a surgeon be watching this video i don't know but i don't know i woke up I looked at my scar or whatever. I think there, I think there were like um, uh, patches over top of where where they had cut in, or like band aids, I should say. So, but I was so surprised they, they didn't shave me at all. So, what was the point of this story? I don't, I don't even know. Oh, because my stomach was itchy. Okay. <laughs> All right, track wise, we're track three. So I need to get some water. <sighs> so, yeah, I had to, uh, I'll just talk about the surgery for a little bit this was back in 2020 it was right at the start of covid actually so they had just started doing like all the covid um rules so uh, th like the hospital itself wasn't that busy actually when i when i went there to get my surgery there was this one there was a guy who had covid in this one room and he was like quarantined off and i remember like probably his wife or something went to visit him and she was outside the room anyway so when i, when I went to have um my surgery i had to like wear a hospital gown and i had to be like completely naked underneath and so i'm walking with the nurse and i'm completely naked under this um uh, hospital gown and I, I have uh, the UV, the IV, not the UV, the IV stuck in me. And I'm carrying the, like, the, the, the stand with the bag as I'm walking. And so she takes me to the operating room. And then there's, like, uh, the surgeon. And then there are four nurses, and they're all women. And uh, so I get on the table. It might my hospital gown had to be like loose too so I, it was kind of kind of strange and uh so what, what am i trying to say here there is a point to this story but i don't even know what it, I've, i lost it okay maybe i'll come back to it later oh no no this is okay i just remembered so uh, I, I, I don't know how i learned about this but i learned that part of the procedure involved you know the incision stuff I, it was probably the surgeon who told me this before he was going to do it uh and then apparently they shove something down your mouth i don't know what but so i wake up from the surgery and I, my mouth was so dry like it was it was so dry to the point that i it was hard to breathe like my mouth and my throat it was so dry like I couldn't even breathe almost, almost. Like I, I could breathe obviously. I, I can't breathe out of my nose very good at all. So, cause it's always, it's always clogged. So I was, it was very hard to breathe. And so the nurse wheeled me away and I was in this other room where, and there was another nurse there. And I was asking her if I could have some water because I could barely, I, I, it was, it was hard to breathe and so she was like, oh, well, you're, you're not supposed to have water after you have the, uh, the, the surgery there. And I said, oh, I'm, it's, it's hard to breathe. Like, I, honestly, it was hard to breathe. I was in, I was in the bed and I, I, was, I wasn't pleading with her. I just asked her politely, you know, it's, it's uh, my throat is extremely sore, sore. And she ended up giving me this little tiny cup of ginger ale. I remember that. Was that a pointless story? <laughs> that was definitely a pointless story. 
Okay, we have 345 monsters. Kingpin 2. Now, I don't think the first one had that many monsters. Uh, so it says it left... It leaves off where King... It starts where Kingpin 1 left off. Now, I really hope it's pistol startable. It seems like it is so far. Kingpin 1 was a cool wad, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, so what is this? Okay. Knew it. Nice. So what the hell did that do? No idea what that does. What? Oh, that opens up the egg the the red bars, I should say. No, I was gonna say the green bars? Was that what I was gonna say? Okay, so we get a chain gun out of it. That wasn't even a secret, apparently. Okay. 12 secrets, by the way. I think I mentioned that. In there, he is using secret lines. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just wondering if this is that map I'm thinking of. So there's this one wad uh, that uses this texture. I don't know what this texture is called. I've never used it myself. But there's this one wad that uses this texture, and it's got very nice architecture. And I'm just wondering if that's what this is. Maybe that's why I recognize it. I don't think it is, though. It doesn't look like it. I remember arches, archways, and it doesn't look like they're... I don't really see any offhand. Hmm. So maybe the wad I'm thinking of is from 97 or later 96. I wonder if I can get that blue key through the secret. Huh. No. No, I can't. Oh. Apparently I can. <laughs> When in doubt, shoot. So is that the only way to get this? To get the blue key? Okay, does this lower this? Because there are three monsters right here. No, it opens that. Does walking over this do that? Yeah. Okay, so, so far there's plenty of ammo. We have two boxes of shells right there. Okay. Apparently there's something right here. Nice. Okay. So I can't go through here. Maybe that lowers somehow. But I do have the blue key. Maybe the blue key gives you access to a, a secret. That's the only thing I can think of. All right. Okay, that's some big ass stairs. Okay. 
Okay, so where is the super shotgun at? I'm gonna have to look. I feel like I, yeah, I definitely looked in Kingpin 1 as well. Check to see where the super shotgun was. Oh, is there something else right here? Apparently there is. And this is a yellow door. I saw that in the auto map. I do not have a yellow key. Chainsaw, chain gun, rocket launcher. I have all those except for the chainsaw, BFG. Okay. All right, so this exists. Okay, so if I just keep going straight, I should reach the super shotgun eventually. All right. So there is a guy down here. Another guy. Meanwhile, my health is just... I don't know where the hell my health went. Good. Oh, these are going to be some amazing stairs to run down. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, right. I got to go waste another med kit. It was worth it for the staircase, though. Let's try again. Let's try and get a really good run down. Good. Oh my god! I got to go all the way. That was awesome. I have to reload though. <laughs> I went down, I went th um, through the door. The door opened on its own, but that was very, very fun. There's this one wad, I forget what it was called, but there was a, such a huge staircase in it, and it was so fun to run down. I wish I remember what the name was. I mean, I it's on video, but... I just have to go through all my videos to see what one it is. So I'm pretty sure the super shotgun is down there. Okay, so it's 9 o'clock. It's Saturday night, 9 o'clock. We had Sabrina on from 7 to 9. And I looked at the TV schedule and there's nothing on at 9 p.m. So usually I will go to charge, I think. And they'll have Law & Order cr Criminal Intent. But they have 48 hours on for some reason. I don't know why. And there's, a, there's an X-Files marathon on Comet. I mean, that's a possibility, but I'd, I'd rather try and... Okay, no, wait a minute. I think this episode features Krista Allen. It's like a video game theme episode, and I believe Krista Allen plays like the, the, the boss in the video game part of the episode. So maybe I'll just leave it here. All right, I'm going to leave it on this. But I think at 10, I might just leave it on this for the next two hours. Okay, yeah, the super shotgun is right down there. I have to run down those stairs multiple times. It's funny how fun it is. Yeah, right. Oh, 
Okay. So I still only have a blue key. Now, oh, there's a blue door over there. Okay. All right, let's try this again. So I want to try and get a big, a big run up or run down, I should say. Try and go through the door unimpeded. Oh yeah, that was so fun. <laughs> Not often you come across one of these gigantic ass staircases. Okay, here's your blue door. One out of 12 secrets, what? another secret that seems to be the theme shootable switches that's not shootable is it oh, apparently it is now what did that do it did something oh must have done that Jerk off. Okay. Now I feel like there's another shootable switch right here. And another one. Oh, that's what that did. Okay. Oh, I see. Key acquired. Oh, so I already pressed those. Yeah, here's Krista Allen right there. Just missed her. She had a nice butt shot. God damn it, I just... I missed it. <laughs> I caught a, the smallest glimpse of it. Holy shit. Okay, that was... That was a very nice shot of it. Good God. This must have been her like softcore phase. When she was on in those softcore movies. Like Emmanuel. Or maybe it was maybe those movies were before this, but I feel like those movie movies were in the 90s, right? Mid 90s. Oh god. Like where did my health go? Oh, perfect. Okay, water that doesn't damage. Hooray. So I'm up to three secrets. Okay, let's get these armor bonuses. Okay, I got our yellow key. All right, so let's go back. The yellow door is uh, right over there. I don't know if I can... Oh, yeah, I think I can get there from here. There's another yellow door way the hell over here. Hey, 
And it looks like they both lead to the same gigantic area. Huh, so we have an invulnerability. Oh, look at all these hit scanners. Okay, there's something right here. And we have a door there, I guess. Okay, before I go through that door, let's go over here. Um, I don't understand where I got all this health. Did I pick up a, a Megasphere? What? Am I going senile? Like, how did I get so much health? Last I checked, I was fighting a Baron and I had 46 health. Um... Huh. I mean, there's a Megasphere here, but... It's possible that I bumped into it. That's the only idea I have. Because there are no more megaspheres. So I must have bumped into this. That's crazy. So how does this even open, by the way? No idea. 16? Where the hell is this? Oh, that's over there. Uh, what about the other one? Like, where's the other one? Oh, it's way over here. Door open, stay. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's where I wanted to go anyway. That's funny. I must have just somehow bumped the Megasphere through the wall. It's definitely possible because you can notice that so the Megasphere is less than 32 units from the wall. So normally... Uh, wait a minute. Are Megaspheres bigger than keys? Or even weapons? I don't think so. They're, they're the same, right? Yeah, they're the same size. Okay. However... You can see it's a little above this line here, this horizontal line. So it's closer to the wall, so it's easier to bump. So I should be able to open this, but then I need a red key in order to leave. Right, let's get this. My fist of fury. Okay, I wonder where that leads. Uh, what? Excuse me? lot of guys over there. Maybe that's why the invulnerability exists. So you can punch all these guys.
Much more fun to go down the stairs than up. Oh, look at that. So I do not have a better weapon. Oh. Oh, okay. So there must have been a, an arch file here. And there's, yeah. So there was a Megasphere here, and I picked it up. Yeah, that um, wall is very thin. That's funny. I just picked it up accidentally. Okay, so there's your red key. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, run at it. Assuming we have two teleporters. I don't know why there's a demon up there. Okay, so I guess I could go back up there through the yellow door, through the red door, I should say. Sort of wish I had more of my Megasphere left, but oh well. I have a decent amount of rockets. There goes my health, by the way. <laughs> Once again, I'm down to 46. Good backpack. Nice. Now. I I don't think I don't know like I don't know if there's another med kit down here. We got a stim pack that's decent. Anything else though? Another stim pack. Ooh, perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Just what I needed, as the cars would say. The band. Oh, okay, so I'm way down here now. So that was a shortcut, I guess. Okay, I can open it from this way too. Yeah, Krista Allen is wearing a very revealing outfit in, in this video game simulation episode. I still only have three secrets? What? Oh, look at this. I noticed it. I noticed it on my own. I mean, I did notice that there were rooms here, so I came back, but I noticed the switch on my own. How is that not a double kill? game's lying to me. Okay, so here we have the the dirty water again. Is it damaging? 
for some reason it is. Alright, looks like we're going outside. Into the gigantic area. Now, did I miss any other secrets? I do not think I did. I believe I got all of the secrets I could have gotten. Jerk. Okay, so we have some snipers. Mid mid texture snipers up there. First we have to do some cleanup. So those mid-texture monsters might be annoying to kill. If I can't get up there. Okay, it looks like I can get up there. So I'll just leave them for now. Apparently there are like three secrets here. Okay, they're in the other areas. So I do, that. there's a red door right there. I do have a red key. This totally reminds me of another wad. No rockets? What? Okay, so red doors on both sides. Okay, should we do this one first? Go in the left building first. Megasphere. Another invulnerability. Oh, I see. Okay. So these are the mid-texture mid areas. I can shoot through this wall. Yay! Four secrets. There should be another one. Or maybe that's the other building I'm thinking of. Okay, switch pressed. Let's try the other side. What? following. I don't understand. Oh, I'm being shot at from the other building. Huh. It's kind of shocking. I thought there was a mid-texture behind a mid-texture. Looks like I can strafe run from 
area to area. And we got some stairs that lead up to the Megasphere. Good. And we have a switch up there. Fuck. You have to be kidding me. God fucking Christ. Krista Allen just like... I don't know if she's shot or if... But she knocks... She cuts someone's hands off in the game, in the simulation. So he's... Oh, she has a sword. <laughs> she has a different outfit on now that's not showing her bare ass. But it's very tight. But before her, like, basically her... She was sort of like in a thong almost. It was that revealing. Just a monster, I guess. Okay, so I did that. Now... Maybe I'm supposed to stray from... From over here... Over to there, right? And hit the, hit the switch. So I feel like this is definitely designed for strafe running. Especially up there. Jumping from there to there. So if I just go straight... Okay, that's possible if you just run straight. All right, so that press that. I feel like I've done everything on this. No, I didn't do everything in this building. I missed a secret. So I need to go back up here again. Assholes, man. Okay, so I did that. Let's leave this building. I'll either go in the next building or I'll clean up whatever's left. I saw, yeah, some guys are over here for some reason. Including... Caco demons. I'm up to 62 rockets. How did that happen? Also, where did all these caco demons come from? Also, what the hell happened to my dodging skills? <laughs> like, not even dodging anything. 65 monsters left, and there are six secrets? Are there seriously six? There are six secrets in this room. Wow. Okay, I believe you. So is this going to be a similar setup to the previous building? So far it looks similar at least. Oh, okay, so there were, it looks like there were bars here. It probably lowered when I was in the other building. I probably pressed the switch. Ugh. Thank you. 
Okay, I think that was everyone. All right, so that's another secret, right? Pretty much your standard secret in these buildings. There's another one right here, apparently. Um, my health is down to 133. I just picked up a Megasphere in the other building. Okay, switch pressed. Alright, we're up to nine secrets now. The secrets don't even show up on the auto map. At least the auto map, the computer map secret does not show up on the auto map. We have more guys outside again. Okay, so it looks like this room here had a bunch of monsters and I guess they uh, teleported out. So that's probably where all the Kakra demons came from. All right, let's try to get all these other secrets. Okay, we got some guys right there. Calco demons again. I'm gonna have to kill them because they're just gonna be harassing me the entire time. I think that's it. Let's try going. Can't go that way. Um, what? Who, who just tried to shoot me? Who is shooting me? Seriously. Is there a guy over there? Is there a guy like way up there? Ten secrets. There, there are two left. One right here, right? What? There's one right here. Don't screw around. Liar. All right, so we got one left. Where is it? It's got to be top right. So I just have to figure out how to get there. It's right there. Oh, okay. Oh, it's that guy. Two monsters left. So, okay, so I guess that's a... Do you, you don't even need to go to the other building to lower these bars? Because I was somehow able to get up here without having to take the lift up. Okay, looks like the exit is right at the top right there. There's a monster in there. But where's another monster? Because there are two left, right? Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, am I supposed to... Jesus Christ, look at these camera angles. They just did the, the basic instinct crossing legs scene. But <laughs> obviously not that explicit. 
and I think it was more for Mulder as opposed to the viewer. <laughs> This feels like definitely Krista Allen's prime, though. Like, she looks really hot here. She apparently is still on um, a soap opera. I don't know which one she's on. Like, she's still on it now. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. That, that would have been, like, this almost 30 years ago. This episode, I bet. She is still very thin these days. I wonder how old she is. She's got to be in her 50s, right? Yeah, so let's straight front over there. Are you serious? Are you joking? So it's just an imp over there. Oh, you gotta be fucking with me. What kind of dress is that? Oh my god. That's insane. That's like the shortest skirt I've ever seen. While still covering her ass cheeks. Okay, I pressed the switch. There must have been a switch at the very top that you can actually see. But I didn't have to wait. I just pressed it. There's a box of rockets up there. I don't really care. Because this is one level. And, uh... One monster left. Alright, there you go. King Kingpin the second is done. Alright. Now, we're on to Evil Dog. So I think we're at like two and a half almost, two, 218. Evil dog, 175 kilobytes. Not map one. Map seven, okay. Wrong cheat code. So track-wise, we're on track four. I'm just trying to think if we if I changed the music on the previous map or not. I, I can't remember. Previous map was supposed to be map uh, track three, I should say. So this one has 151 monsters and has three secrets. Evil dog, eh? Why is it called evil dog? I don't know why. Three secrets. So I see all three of them. No secret lines. This guy's a good mapper. So Mulder is now going into the video game simulation. So I don't understand. So they they brought Chris Allen's character into into the, like the in for questioning. So Mulder and Scully were questioning her in maybe a like a police station or something. I don't know, but okay. So obviously the the music screwed up. So let's exit. <laughs> One of these rare occurrences when the Peer Room Plus music screws up. All right, can I reload? So I gotta change the level again. Okay, track wise, we're at track four. Let's save. All 
All right. We have a lift, a fence lift. Looks very nice, see-through. Um, I have no weapons. What? How are you shooting me? What? What is happening? I got a fucking pistol. Like, what the hell, man? Sixteen health? What? So, what do I want? What is happening here? Okay, well, I'm picking stuff up. I've got 66 health now. So do I go down here or do I go somewhere else? I don't know. It really depends on where the super shotgun is. And that's That's how I live my life. Where, wherever the super shotgun is, I follow. It's my philosophy. There is your philosophy right there. Now, I feel like there's a barrier here. There isn't. 196. So this is really high up. So I think I've got to get at it from over here. And so how would one do that? Not sure. I probably have to teleport, right? So where do these teleports lead? This leads back there. This leads there. What? So these don't lead anywhere. Anywhere necessary. So I go over here and it's a dead end. Oh, this is just a lift. Okay, well, that's what I'm doing then. However, first of all, I can just get these. Oh, these are monster teleporters, okay. Those are just for the, whatever monsters I just faced, the chain gunners. All right, now the map is starting to make sense. So you have your little trap at the very beginning to show how much of a hardcore guy you are. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, let's get this stuff, I guess. Try and get some infighting going, but the Calco Demons are not coming over because they can't. There's a barrier there, you idiot. Okay. All right, so the I think the imp opened the secret for me. Thank you, Mr. Imp. And we have a super shotgun, so life is good. Now, am I going to get infinitely tall actored here? I'm not. Okay, good. Someone's shooting me. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, my health just totally died. Yeah, right. Who the fuck is shooting me? Like, what is going on here? I'm just getting slaughtered. Like, I can't see any ch chain gunners. I don't get it. We'll save. Such absolute horseshit. Complete, utter horseshit. Yeah, right. Okay, so there are some, there is some health over there. Fuck. What the fuck is happening? Seriously, what is going on here? Is this, is this where the barons are? Like, weren't there barons? There they are. Okay, there's your soul sphere. Got the soul sphere. The doorway is too narrow. Where are these piece of shit assholes? Fucking mid texture bullshit, man. I remembered at the very last second that there was a mid texture there and his projectile could go through it. All right, we got a key. Those assholes are dead. We're almost at 100 health. So let's get the soul sphere. Um, I still have to get a bunch of shells. All right. Okay. So, if I go back over here, oh, 
This, I don't think, is a secret. This is, though, I believe. Okay, we got a plasma gun. So I can't pick up this chain gun because it's it's down below in the nukage and I can't I can't get my player to stand in the nukage here because it the opening is too narrow so that chain gun is ungettable. All right, so I did that and then there's still this gigantic area over here. So I guess I've got to go through the blue door now, right? Hopefully I can go back up a lift. Okay. Blue door. Um, where are my shells? I don't understand. Yeah, right. Um, what? Okay, so that opened one door. What? Is it repeatable? Oh god. I guess I should be busting out the plasma gun eventually. Oh, especially now that there's a, a shitload of cells. Nice. Thank you. Okay. So that's not... Um, a repeatable switch right here. Uh, how did that open? I forget. Anyway, I pressed something and this opened and also the other doors on the left side open and there's, they've stayed open, so. I just have to go over there. Have your pointless chainsaw. What's a 90s wad without a pointless chainsaw? I got some good range from that. Oh. I guess we're going around. I don't know if I can go up there or not. Probably. So I guess I don't really have to shoot them. So my cell, my sh uh, rockets are d going down.
Okay, we have a soul sphere over there. Hmm, there's your rockets. Good. Perfect. And I should be able to do straight front over there if I ever need the soul sphere from here. Okay. So, did I do everything? I think I went around. I believe I did do everything. So now it's just a matter of falling down. Uh, I no, I did. I missed one thing actually. I missed a secret. Let's go back over there. It's like right here. So this must lower somehow. Um, okay. Nice. Double Baron kills are always fun. So I maxed out on cells. Okay, so I'm not sure how to get up there. Uh, actually, there should be a lift here, shouldn't there? Yeah. Okay, I'll try this. We got a bunch of fatties in there. Waste all my rockets. Right, there you go 19 monsters left still have 400 cells is there anything in here i really don't see anything okay i might have to go down into these nukage areas we have a rad suit right there looks like there's a uh an arachnotron And a fucking mastermind? What? I really hope I didn't miss a BFG. That would suck. It's gotta be dead by now, yeah. Okay, red key acquired. Let's get this as well. Yeah, so I probably should have done that last. What is going on with these monsters, man? Fuck you. Ah! Oh. <sighs> that doesn't exist. What? There's a fucking BFG right here? Are you serious? Okay, well, let's go back over there and we'll do this fight properly. Who the fuck is shooting me?
first of all, I'll get this. Second of all, I'll get this. All right. Unfortunately, I screwed myself over yet again with a late BFG grab. Barely get to use the BFG. I mean, it would have been great to use the BFG against the Barons and, you know, the, the fatties. And I could have used it against a bunch of guys. Okay. So now where do I go? I could get the key. There's also this down here. Looks like we have a megasphere. Oh, so there's a red door there, but I need a red key to get it. Obviously. better. Um, wait a minute. I'm not going to get trapped, am I? If I go back down? Five monsters left. Oh, okay, so it does go back. But what? Can I do anything? I don't think so. Um, hello? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And now, what the hell is this? This is a teleporter. Did I kill everyone in here? Okay, there's still some guys over here. What the hell? Back at the start. We got, oh, five more guys back at the start. So I wonder if I, if this teleporter sends me back to the start. That is what happened. Um, where the hell did he go? Oh, there was a fucking arch file. <laughs> he teleported like way somewhere else. I'm assuming the exit is right behind the start there. So there's, I think, a Baron, maybe. Oh, it's a... Vector. Okay. Um, what the hell? I missed a secret? Oh, yeah, there's a giant secret over here that had a bunch of armor, uh, ammo, but I don't know how that opened. Because I tried getting it, but it was closed. Take 666? What? All right, is there a Commander Keen somewhere? Wait a minute, what? This is map seven. So what happens? 666, um, what happens then? I believe that's the fatties. When you kill all the fatties. So here's all the fatties. So when, once, once I kill these, this should lower. This floor should lower. 
So it's at minus 352, and the the next floor, the adjacent floor is minus 456. So it will lower to the four. Okay, so I should be able to get that after I kill the fatties. Uh, this sector looks like a dick, by the way. It also looks like that Muppet Gonzo with the long-ass nose. So I'm not going to go back and get it. Now I gotta figure out how to get back. So it's 10 o'clock, I don't know what to put it to now. Law and Order Criminal Intent is on now. And we have another episode of X-Files, but... Okay. There you go. Evil Dog. Now, we are doing The Lair. I think there's still time. We're at 2.48, yeah. The lair in the lair folder, yeah. So this is 607 kilobytes. Is this a gigantic level? Okay, I heard some new sounds. So, was that the Phantom of the Opera again? Track wise, we're on track five. Yeah. That is a new sound. Oh, there's also some new music, so a new death sound as well. So that must be one of the reasons why the file size is larger. This has 166 monsters and it has three secrets. And we have two secrets right here. Secret lines are being used, yes. The third secret is way down here. Okay. Uh, Scully's pregnant in this episode. I forget how that happened. Like that was supposed to be a, an alien baby, wasn't it? don't even remember or did she get abducted and then she was impregnated or something i watched that series from start to finish almost to finish like a year or two ago probably a couple years ago i have it on dvd but i don't really remember <laughs> what happened I've heard those sounds before. So I'm just waiting for a super shotgun. We have a yellow door. There's a yellow key over there. We have a blue door. And no super shotgun as of yet. Okay, if I can shoot them over there. So much for that idea. Okie dokie, so how does that lower?
Oh, there's just a door, a regular door right there. Okay. Can I straight run across the lava without getting damaged? <laughs> yeah, right. As soon as I touch it, it damages me. Oh, uh, there's a new sky as well, by the way. Just notice that. What is with me in not even noticing a new sky? That happened in a uh, previous, in post.wad as well. The one I played yesterday, I didn't even realize until like 15 minutes in that I had a new sky. Meanwhile, the, the entire map had been like outdoors. Okay, this is one of those levels where I have to look for where the super shotgun is. Oh. Okay, it does exist. However, it looks like there's a barrier here. Um, no. Okay. No barrier, no different tag. It just has a different floor. Kind of hard to, to see. Okay, so how do I get over here? So where am I, by the way? Oh, I came through. Oh, shit. I, wait a minute. What? Okay, so here we... Where am I? Where's the start? I don't even know where I am. Okay, so I started, I think I started on the right. All right, this makes more sense. Okay, so I go this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way, easy. So I just go left and there's the super shotgun. Perfect. I'm going that way anyway. Good. Screw you. Perfect. Shouldn't there be a specter? Yeah, okay. So hopefully I'll remember there's another box of shells over there. Oh, I got him just in time. Horrible aiming. That's like four shots for one imp. there are any secrets what it's got block mapped all right that has to be something right no okay well there's something here but not sure how it opens I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go. There's something there as well. Okay. 
do anything over there. However, looks like this door opened. wasting all my shells on the demons. Is that a triple demon kill? I swear that was. That was pretty cool. Fucking Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, right. I go from a triple demon kill to like a two-shot single demon kill. Fucking Spectre's worst enemy in the game. Okay. So I should go back to where I got the super shotgun so I can pick up a box of shells. Just have to remember where that was. I'm hearing stuff. Okay, there's a guy back where the super shotgun was. So, did I even do anything? I don't think so. Unless the yellow key is available now. Nope. Okay, maybe the... That, maybe that door is open. Between the torches. Nope. So what the hell? Okay, maybe there's a switch down here. Okay, so that's done. Now, okay, so now I've got to check the yellow key again. No, okay, so now I check the, <laughs> the door in between the torches. Okay. What is with the specters? What is people's fascination with specters? Yeah, right. Where are these secrets, by the way? Okay, we have two up there and one down there. So uh, I haven't been anywhere near them yet. Okay, press the switch. And I got the chain gun, good. So I'm assuming the yellow key is gonna be available now. Good. I believe the yellow key, the yellow door was on this side. Okay, so we're heading towards, we're heading through the yellow door. Fucking torch, man. Like, how stupid is that? You, you change the single shotgun to kill an imp, and you end up using two shots anyways. 
So what's the point of changing it a single shotgun? Just use the double barrel. Another two shot. Jesus Christ. So, did I even do anything? Am I supposed to be able to do anything out there? Okay, I guess I have to try and try and survive. I mean, there are these random ass monsters. They're hit scanners, like they're multiple chain gunners, and it's very hard to kill. Might be able to chainsaw this asshole. Chain gunner shooting me. Was that worth it? I mean, I'm down to 30. Nine health, like screw off. What the fuck? How many of you assholes are there? Like, this is so stupid. Okay, let's just open that lift. Fuck this. Who is shooting me? I don't even care, let's just waste all my bullets. Okay, so I f did that. So now we can go through this door. Don't even care who gets hit by the cells, just as long as it's aimed at the horde. What 
What is happening right now? How many shots did that one guy take? I swear I shot him four times. Non-damaging blood. Thank you. Is this something? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I knew there was a secret coming up. And, you know, I saw this texture here and I thought, hmm, let's press it. This one doesn't even have one. Okay. Now, I feel like I missed a box of shells somewhere. I must have picked it up. It was either a box of shells or a, a four pack of shells. Anyway, we have a blue and a yellow key. So I just got the blue key, right? Pick up the scattered shells. I don't think I can go on any of these little platforms unless. Looks like I can. Probably straight run. Pick up all the guns. It would have been a good idea to, to make the other lift, this one. On, so you press it from this side, but it doesn't open from the other side. So that you had to like strafe run across here. That would have been a good idea. I feel like this lift should be the, the, the texture that has more like holes in the wood, in the, in the rock. Like this right here. Like this texture right there. So like you press this lift on this side. But it doesn't work from this side. So that you have to go around. And then you press this one from the other side. To get back in here. I like that idea better. Hmm. Take that Mr. Mapper. Huh, that's that's a new sound effect too. The footstep sound. Like listen when I go down the stairs. That's a new sound. Was that integral to the wad? <laughs> Is that normally like the oomph sound? No, it's not. I don't know what's Does Doom Guy even have footsteps? trying to think anyway we have a blue key let's go through the blue door I'm trying to think of what the sound effect is in regular doom if you run downstairs like that I can't even for some reason I thought it was um, the the oomph sound but apparently not maybe it is maybe it's the same sound for pressing as for falling down the stairs I don't know Okay. All right. So there are all your s no, there's one more. What? Oh, there's another one in this in here. Okay, there's one on the left there. There's an arch file over there. I can see him running around. It's either an arch file or a revenant, I'm not sure. Right in there. It's an arch file. I just heard him purring.
Marshall. Oh shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Fucking die, you asshole. How many shots? And where's the other guy? there's some armor somewhere maybe on the other side yeah right fuck you down to 128 like what the fuck gotta do all this bullshit over again with these fucking imps who won't die Jesus Christ. Okay, are you guys fucking done yet? So where's this piece of shit other secret? What? No revenant? Okay, let's herd them all together. Okay, now, I think I can go down. We have a bunch of, I think I wasted all my good ammo.
Okay, let's try and get some infighting. Let's get the fatties to do the job for me. Uh, what? Yeah. So we have two masterminds and I've got 80 cells. So we need to get some infighting going. Okay, so fuck. So we need the other mastermind to get up they get that get the hell up the stairs and start shooting. Okay, I think you got him. The only thing, they're way too far away from each other. So, okay. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to wait this out. So they're just fighting each other. Now, based on their distance, this is going to take forever. I don't know how long this is going to take. They are taking damage, but look at how far away they are. And they're getting pushed further and further away, ever so slightly. So, okay, maybe I'll just... One guy is going to be left alive. Nothing in there. I'm assuming there's nothing in here either. So I got a red key. I'm just going to go to the red door. I don't know. Maybe there's a decent weapon in it, i.e. a BFG. We have nine monsters left, so basically seven left. I haven't heard anyone die yet. And I also don't know who's worse off. So I don't know who to shoot first. Okay, that was pretty good. Looks like I picked, picked very well. Oh, Keith Hickman. Huh. Keith Hickman. Did he make... I think he made Squadron. Or at least he was part of Squadron. And he made Space Lab. Where the hell was that? Space Lab. Yeah, here's Squadron right here. And Space Lab showed up before that. I'm trying to find it. Come on, don't make me look like an idiot. It wasn't this far ahead, was it? This is a long ass time ago. Here's Space Lab, yeah, Space Lab. So I believe Space Lab was a level by Keith Hickman from that was originally from Squadron. And he, so Squadron is a, a megawatt or an episode, I forget. I think it's a megawatt, but it's. It's designed for co-op, so I don't know if it requires co-op, but it was a megawatt, so I skipped it. So I'm going to do that at the very end. Uh, however, Space Lab was a single player. Um, he switched it up. He edited it for single player. So I played Space Lab, and I believe it was Keith Hickman. So maybe if I go in this text file, he'll mention those other wads.
I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Lair is part of a 22-level episode called Squadron. Okay. That is strictly for co-op play that's available now. This level is converted for single play. Okay. So this is just like Space Lab. He converted it for single play. I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if... It says it's for co-op, but... Like, I don't know I don't know if that means there's just more monsters and stuff or if there are actually co-op, like mandatory co-op switches that, where you need multiple people in order to physically progress through the map. I've seen that once before in one of these wads. Okay, so that's it. I think that's it for the video, actually. 322, yeah, so that's going to be it. So we did the lair. I will mark that off. Off? It's not how you say off. So we're ob obviously not doing this. This is a megawatt, but this looks, looks like this is a sound wad. I'm just going to go in that folder, confirm that it's a sound wad. If it's a sound wad, I'm going to mark it. Mark as many things as I can. Uh, what What is it? Doom 2099. Holy hell. Why are there so many things in here? You have wave files in here? What? Screenshots? Okay, so we have the levels, we have the sounds, we have the textures, and I don't know what this is. So let's just load this in Slade. So it looks like this one is from 1998, January 1st, 90, 1998. We still have to go through 1997 <laughs> and the rest of 1996, though we're shockingly close to October. Wow. October, November, December, three months. That's it. Music, sounds, markers. Yeah, so it's just music and sounds. Okay, so I'm going to mark this one as well. Good. All right, so tomorrow we are doing do2.wad. So get psyched.